Welcome to Funk. Today is Wednesday, January 29th, 2019. I'm Daniel. And I'm Ashley. In today's news, the coronavirus has now officially infected 830 in China with a death toll of 25. Closer to home, flu season is at its peak, so wash your hands and stay healthy. The weather for today will be sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 36. There will be CLP lecture today from 6 to 8 p.m. in Burgess Theatre by Dr. June Thomas, an expert and author in urban planning, civil rights, and education in South Carolina. Sammy Steigman, a Holocaust survivor who regularly speaks about his experiences, will present his story of his life during and after the Holocaust, giving students a first-hand account of the genocide. This special CLP event will be held in Watkins Room on Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Men's basketball looks for a win against VMI tonight at 7 p.m. in the Timmins Sports Arena. Along with tonight's basketball game, Furman will be recognizing our military with events before the game and during halftime, including a commissioning ceremony honoring senior class members of the ROTC program and a halftime pull-up contest. With the news of Australia's wildfire emergency, the country is in a state of disarray and will need a lot of help. Consider donating to APO fund, as it fundraises to combat the ever-growing wildfires and to help in the relief efforts. The fraternity will be hosting a donation table during the lunch hour this academic week outside of the library. Join the Jewish Student Association for a conversation with a diverse group of Jewish women as they continue their week of ed education today from 4 to 5 p.m. in Watkins Room. Interested in challenging your understanding of the criminal justice system? Consider taking English 200, Intro to Creative Writing, during next fall semester, Furman's first course to be offered through the Furman Prison Education Partnership. If you'd like to learn more, there will be an info session today from 1230 to 130 in Furman Hall 111. Roll out the red carpet and bring your bags of popcorn for Spanish Movie Night every Wednesday at 7 p.m. in North Village Apartment Building A, Room 302. This week, it will be showing the Moriela International Film Festival Best Picture, A la Mar. The movie tells the story of Jorge, a young man of Mayan roots, and Natan, his half-Italian son, spend time together living off the Banco Chinchoro coral reef before they must inevitably say farewell. On January 29, 1965, Joseph Vaughn, the first African-American undergraduate student at Furman University, enrolled to our school. An English major and cum laude member in the class of 1968, Vaughn went on to teach English in South Carolina and advocate for civil rights until his death in 1991. Join Furman as we celebrate the life of Joseph Vaughn today throughout the day. There will be activities including a special walk and commemorative program at Daniel's Chapel at 12.15 and a special CLP at 6 p.m. in Burgess Theater. February is National Black History Month, and to begin the celebration, there will be a kickoff event on Friday starting at 11 a.m. in the Tron Student Center. There will be free snacks, music, and a chance to win prizes, so come on out for a fun way to begin Black History Month. Fuak will be making a short journey to Paris Mount State Park for a hike and trail run on Friday that will leave at 1.30 p.m. from the Rabbit Hole. If you have any questions on the trip, contact Caroline Kuhner or Kat Denny. Shabbat is the Jewish day of rest and the seventh day of their week. On this day, Jewish people remember the biblical creation of the heavens and earth in six days and observe the holiday through prayer and restful activities. The Jewish Student Association invites all Furman students to a special Shabbat dinner and service on Friday. If you're interested, send an email to Morgan Cooper for an invitation. FUSA accordingly invites you to the annual Winter Ball this year on Friday from 7 to 11 p.m. at the West End Poinsett Hotel. The ball will be a black and white masquerade theme, so dress in your best monochrome clothing. The ball will also include a live band and free refreshments. That's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a great National Puzzle Day, and tune in again on Friday for our next episode. Oh.